Hello friends, in this JavaScript video, I will explain JavaScript class privates. So did you know that the browsers and JavaScript language supports a specific syntax for creating private variables and functions in classes? Let's have a look. Properties and methods on a class have always been considered public. Okay, let's see with an example. For example, I have a JavaScript class called developer. Okay. And with developer, I have two properties. First of username. Okay. The second one is age. After that, I need a constructor that will call when the class object is created. So username and age. There are two properties that I will use in constructor. As you might aware, this dot username is equal to username we will assign and this dot age equal to age. Okay, so this is simple class with two properties and one constructor. Let's create an object out of this class. Constant, let's say I am creating constant for me, so milab is equal to new developer okay and the first is username so let's say username is mila and it is 30 so let's see what this object returns so as you can see it is returning the developer class with age and username properties so if I want to access age, I can access milab.age and similarly, I can use milab.username that will return the name. Okay. This is the default behavior of class. I am not assigning any, any name like if it is private or public, but default it is private. Sorry, it is public. So what if I want to make this age variable private? I don't want outside of this class to know my age. Okay. So for that JavaScript has one solution. Just add hash. Okay. Just like hash, add hash here. And once you add, if you try to access age milab dot age it will give you undefined because this is a syntax for private variables private properties right so what if i want to access this age out of this class i can't access like milab dot hash edge that will that will throw error the private field age must be declared in the enclosing class. So I cannot use this hash to access this age variable. So what can I do? I can create one function, let's say log. Okay. And here I can use console.log. This, this refers to current class. Okay. This dot age. And similarly, let me change this dot username. Okay. And instead of accessing this property, we will call this function and see. As you can see, it is returning username as well as the age because this is a log function and the function belongs to class and Within class, I can access this private object, private properties, not object, private properties. So using this hash, this dot hash property name, I can access these private variables and using this function, I can get whatever I want, right? So this was the example, how you can use private variables. Now. Next thing, how you can uh, get the, uh, how can you create the private function? Like, so let me create 
प्राइवेट फंक्शन गेट एज इज द फंक्शन आई एम क्रिएटिंग ओके एंड आई एम रिटर्निंग दिस डॉट एज एंड लेट मी कॉल दिस फंक्शन and i can access this get age right because this function belongs to developer class but what if i want to make this function private and you will get an error because get age is not a function outside of this class we cannot access this get age function right so what we will do what we can do here we can get one we can create one variable a private variable um, let's say age in years okay and assign that value to zero this is a private variable okay and this in this constructor we can access we can assign the value this dot age in years is equal to this dot this function so what i did i created one private variable private property and assigning this value with this function okay and in console function i will again console this console dot log this dot this function not this function we can access this value right with hash and when you uh, use this outside of this class you will simply use blab dot log and let's see so as you can see i can access uh, okay to see the different output what we can do here we can multiply it by 3 so we can see the difference so this is milab it comes from this dot username which is public property no worries the second 30 is coming from this dot age that the private property and i can access this private property within this class and ex, uh, and assigning this to this function the third is console dot log this dot age in years right so this is assigning i am Uh, i am assigning this private variable with this function this function is also a private function so i cannot access this function outside of this class so instead of calling this function outside of this class i have assigned that value to one variable which is also private and returning this value to this console dot log with this variable and that's why i can see 90 means This dot age that is thirty into three, three times thirty, that is ninety. So, using this hash syntax, you can always create private variables and private functions. So, have you written code using private syntax in JavaScript yet? Please leave your comments. And if you like this video, please give me a like. If you want to see more videos, give me subscribe and keep supporting. Thank you.